Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Now this is going to be some, well it's going to be a TNT video which is tips and tricks which is going to be some tips and tricks on back brakes. It's not going to be a how to video. As you can see these back shoes are definitely gone. Comparing them to the new one you can see how thick the actual pad is there. A couple of things you want to do. Always, always get new hardware, new springs, new clips. Honestly, for the couple of quid it's going to um, cost you, it saves you an absolute fortune. Always replace the cylinder regardless because, again, you don't want to come back in here, get oil on the new brakes, which is going to most probably destroy them, have to replace them all. Some self-adjusters have a, a hole in the back where you can adjust them when the hub's on. Some of them don't. This one doesn't. I've shown videos how to get it as tight as you possibly can and then you obviously do the rest with the adjustment of the handbrake. Make sure everything is the right way. For example, you can see this is pulls the handbrake. This will only go one way. As you can see, that won't work. It won't fit this side. Make sure the shoes are on the right way. These particular shoes can only fit one way, but some of them can fit the other way or both ways. So you can have the wrong edge leading your brakes so just be aware you get them actually set right always give them a really good clean get all the brake dust out because that's just going to cause you problems also make sure you haven't got a big lip on your hub you can always measure the hub if it's too if it's if it doesn't fall within parameters obviously replace it you can grind the lip up if you've got a lip that's not a big deal but that is a definite thing to be clear because you will not be able to get them back on properly because of the lip and it will make them really loose another big one is people say once they replace them they always get in a squeak and i'll show you that on the far side another good thing is make sure your abs sensor is clean if you've got abs on the back because if that gets full of oil crap and crud it might not work properly and you can have all the problems now on this side i've just highlighted where the actual pads are most people don't realize there is slightly raised pads on the backing plate and that's where you put the copper grease that can cause or stop a lot of the brake squealing noise um so always always do that again in the perfect world it's always best to replace your handbrake cables but you can test them to make sure they're not seized by pushing them as you can hear that that's not seized but in the perfect world yes always best replace them i'm sure i've missed loads but these are this is just a really quick kind of overview of what to look for what to do when replacing rear brakes Another thing you can do is take a picture before you disassemble everything so you know where all the springs go and stuff like that. But honestly, don't try and scrimp and scrave on especially brakes because at the end of the day, they are very important. New hardware, new cylinders, give everything a clean. You're not gonna really have an issue. Make sure you just put the copper grease on the pads. You can't really see them, but it's where, yeah, you can't really see them, but it's where they actually uh, rest on them and they can move and cause a horrible squeak. And also, before you actually put these in and tighten them properly, make sure you've loosened your handbrake adjuster. Now, depending on the car, sometimes that's underneath or at the handbrake. You need to loosen that first, then adjust this, adjust it on the hub, then adjust it on the handbrake, because what will happen is, once these start wearing down a little bit, self-adjusters, I've never really known them to work. You know, you can always then adjust it by your handbrake rather than having to take everything back off again. You know, if you've only got a little bit left on your handbrake because you've adjusted it here without adjusting your handbrake, well then you've got no room to move. So always, always loosen your handbrake off first before you actually put this back on. A big cause for handbrakes to actually stick on is this here, as you can see, this is completely and utterly seized. This should be nice and free like that as you can see that is just as free as you like it just moves on its own if you have one of these and it's seized do not try and unseize it because it's a waste of time it's only going to last a few weeks and you're going to be back to square one again if it overheats it can overheat your bearings it can cause so much damage just replace them don't try and skimp on brakes replace them i'm telling you replace them Okay, to give you an idea, this is the brake shoe, and as you can see, I haven't slackened off the um, 
handbrake yet. We need this notch touching there. That's how you want to start actually adjusting these properly. And as you can see, we're miles away. That handbrake is essentially fully on because the cables have been adjusted that much. So once that goes back to there, you can adjust them properly. Right, okay, you can see that is now touching that. We are ready to make our proper adjustments. So there we go, a really quick TNT. I'm sure I've missed a few of them. Anyone else has got any more suggestions, just leave it down in the comment box. But that's definitely a good overview of what to look for, what to do when replacing your rear shoes. So as always, people, don't forget, please like, share, subscribe. Links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one, sorted.